our view is that you really need both. You need active governments as well as active and vibrant philanthropy. All of us know it's without dispute that in order for an economy to be strong, vibrant, to grow dynamically, you need a thriving market system. But if you take that market logic to its extreme, then it's every man or every woman for himself or herself. And that is certainly no way to organize society or to build a nation. So governments have to step in to resolve social issues. Governments will have to take care of income and wealth inequalities and continue to support the vulnerable and disadvantaged segments. But if governments were to do all of that, everything, then we will easily end up with a system of high taxes that could potentially dampen economic dynamism. But worst of all, I think it will be a system that's entirely run by state administration. And you will lose that sense of human touch and compassion. And it will not be the same. Even if, you have, even if we are able to uplift the lower end, there will not be that same sense of community and ownership and responsibility. So, so in our view, if we want to build a fairer and more inclusive society, it cannot be defined solely in redistribution terms. It must also engage the human spirit and it has to strengthen that culture of responsibility for one another. And the social compact you've talked about, I guess. Absolutely, and that's where philanthropy comes in. Because if a person who has done well in society is prepared to give back voluntarily, I think that strengthens the spirit of community and fellowship. And importantly, it enables wealth in society to be recycled and invested back into society to expand opportunities for disadvantaged and vulnerable segments. That's very important, and that's how we can build stronger social compact, continue to uphold trust in society. So that's what we believe in Singapore, that we need a combination of both. Act lean, in, in Singapore, we want to keep government lean, but lean and effective, actively looking at ways to mitigate income and wealth gaps, to uplift the lower income, uplift uh, the poorer segments of society. At the same time, a very vibrant ecosystem of community and philanthropic groups so that we can all move forward together.